Hello, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to multiply matrices. So I'll timestamp in the uh, bar all the different parts of the video so you can skip through to the bit you want. But I'm going to start with multiplying a scalar with a matrix. So when we're talking about scalars, um, we just mean numbers really. So it could be a fraction, it could be just like 12, it could be anything you want. So in maths we usually denote a scalar with the letter lambda. I don't know why, but it usually is. So say we had uh, a scalar that's 2. Okay, we have a scalar of 2, and I'm multiplying it by matrix A, which I could write as 3, 1, 4, 2. That's just a random matrix I thought of. So, say we want to find 2A, which is the scalar multiplied by matrix A. So that's going to be the same as two lots of, well, the matrix 3, 1, 4, 2. And to work this out, all we're going to do is multiply each element of matrix A by the scalar. So we're going to get 3 times 2, uh, 1 times 2, 4 multiplied by 2, and 2 multiplied by 2. So if we work this out, we're going to get 6, 2, 8, 4. And the resulting matrix is still a 2 by 2, so the dimension of the matrix doesn't change under scalar multiplication, it stays exactly the same. And we'd work the exact same way if it was a fraction and negative, you're just going to multiply each element of the matrix by the scalar. So now let's look at multiplying a matrix with another matrix. Now this only works if your columns of say matrix A are equal to the rows of matrix B. So let me write it down because it will make more sense. So say I had a matrix A which was equal to 2, 3, 3, 1. And I'm multiplying it by another matrix, say 4, 2, 1, 2. So we've got two 2 by 2 matrices. Let's write the dimensions down. So we've got a 2 by 2 and a 2 by 2. Now, if the number of columns in my matrix A equals the number of rows in my matrix B, which it does because there's two columns in matrix A and two rows in matrix B, then that means we can multiply them together to get a new matrix AB. And the dimensions of this new matrix AB, well, we can look at the outside part, so we can look at the rows of matrix A and the columns of matrix B, so we will get a 2 by 2 matrix out. So, whoops, 2 by 2 matrix will be the resulting matrix. But how do we actually multiply them? Well, let's, let's have a look. So say we take AB, so we want to find that out. So that's 2, 3, 3, 1, multiplied by 4, 2, 1, 2. OK, so we know a 2 by 2 matrix is going to come out. Well, say I want to find okay the first row, first column element of my new matrix AB. So this one in the top left. What I'm going to do is look at the first row of matrix A, so this one here, and then look at the first column of matrix B, so this one here. And then I'm going to take the first uh, element of the first row and multiply it by the first element of the first column. So we'd get something like this, 2 multiplied by 4. And then I'm going to look at the second element of the first row and multiply it by the second element of the first column. So I'm going to add on 3 multiplied by 1. There we go. And that will give me the first row, first column element of my new matrix. So say I want to find the next element, this one here in the top right. So that's my uh, first row, second column. Well, I'm going to take the first row of matrix A and then do the same, but with the second column of matrix B. So when I do that, let's rub out this old bit of highlight. We're going to get 2 multiplied by 2. And then added onto that, we're going to get 3 multiplied by 2. So that's that one done. Now say I want this one here, so I want to find the second row, first column. I'm going to take the second row of matrix A and multiply it by the first column of matrix B. So to do that we're going to do 3 times 4 and then add on 1 times 1. And then finally, if I want the second row, second column, I'm going to look at the second row of matrix A and multiply it by the second row, uh, second column rather, of matrix B. So that's going to give me 3 multiplied by 2 plus 1 multiplied by 2. So that's sort of neat and everything up. We're going to get a new matrix, which is going to be 8 plus 3, uh, 4 plus 6, 12 plus 1, and 6 plus 2. So we're going to get matrix AB is going to be equal to 11, 10, 13, and 8. Hopefully that makes sense. With practice, you'll just be able to do it without thinking. Like when I multiply matrices, I'm not thinking the first row, first column, I'm literally just going across and down. That's sort of how I think about it in my head. Let's do one more example where let's say we've got a matrix C, which is equal to 2, 4, 2, 1, 3, 1, just to make it kind of easy, and a matrix D, which is 3, 2, 2. And let's say we want to multiply these two things together to get a new matrix CD. 
Well, let's check that it can actually be done. So this first matrix here, matrix C is a two by three. And this second matrix, matrix D, that's a three by one. So does the number of columns of C equal the number of rows of D? Yeah, it does because they're both three. And the resulting matrix CD that comes out is gonna be a two by one matrix. So CD, I already know, is gonna be a two by one. So let's write them out and go through it. So two, four, two, one, three, one and three, two, two. Okay, so say I want to find the first row, first column element of my new matrix. I'm gonna multiply the first row of matrix C by the first column of matrix D. And by that, I just mean multiply each corresponding elements and add them together. So we're gonna get two multiplied by three, plus four multiplied by two, plus two multiplied by two. And then the final part we need to work out is the second row first column. So I'm going to look at the second row of matrix C and multiply it by the first column of matrix D. And that will give me, let me get rid of this bit, 1 multiplied by 3 plus 3 multiplied by 2 plus 1 multiplied by 2. And so if I simplify this, we're going to get 6 plus 10 plus, four, whoops, 6 plus 8 rather, 6 plus 8 plus 4 and 3 plus 6 plus 2. And so we get the matrix CD is equal to, well, 6 plus 8 plus 4 is 18, and 3 plus 6 plus 2 is 11. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake there, maybe I did. So the final thing I'm going to talk about is multiplying with the identity matrix. So the identity, as I've talked about before, is a square matrix with the leading diagonal being all ones and every other element being zero. So for a 2 by 2 matrix, the identity is this, so 1, 0, 0, 1. And if I multiply any matrix by the identity, then I just get the matrix that I put in originally. So I'll show you one example of this. So say I'm multiplying the matrix 1, 4, 4, 4, I guess, by the identity, which is 1, 0, 0, 1. Well, it's going to give me a 2 by 2 matrix, so I'll write it like that. And say I want the first row, first column. Well, I multiply the first row of this matrix by the first column of the identity, and we're going to get 1 times 1, which is 1, plus 4 times 0, which is 0. So we've got 1. Then say I want the first row, second column, so this element here, well, first row, second column, one times zero is zero, and four times one gives me one, so I get four, and if you worked through all of it, you would actually get the same matrix back out. So multiplying any matrix by the identity gives you that original matrix, and it doesn't matter which way round you're doing it in, it will always work. So I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about for this video. Uh, write any comments in the, um, questions in the comments and I'll answer them and get back to you. Uh, check out my channel for tons of other videos. I've got a series on uh, matrices so you can check out that playlist but there's tons of stuff on there. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.